let's take a look at uh i want to go over the wpt the wrongly position trader trade that that we need to uh, focus on um let me skinny this down yesterday we had so many of them in a row that worked out well so let's take a look at yesterday's price action now yesterday uh, we talked about the 88 break this 88 break talked about before she broke down the 88 breakdown and our target was all the way down at this level so that was a nice little uh, uh, run in the S&P we had the 88 breakdown or was it right, right there 88 breakdown and then she just fell apart all the way down to 74 so that's a 14 point S&P that went from uh, uh, demand line to all the way down to another demand line demand line broke went right down to my next demand line that's my overall target for the day it went a little lower uh, right around into 1030 but that was pretty much a low then it got back inside of my demand old supply becomes new demand old demand becomes new supply and she just ran all the way back up so let's take a look at uh, uh, we'll look at the holes in the market again so we can get these big holes like this I saw that big hole Wednesday we talked about 88 as being a critical breaking point target 74 we talked about it for two days finally got it the beautiful thing about these levels on supply demand that automatically come up is it tested once tested twice third test it was all over she broke down 14 S&P points but let's take a look at uh, some trades coming up to that point and trades after that point and how you could take that big run back up and big run down with with uh, with small stops we have what's called a WPT trade. That's a rolling position trader trade. So we know we got the ATR. Hey, Thomas, good morning. Uh, we know we have the ATR, the running ATR. So running ATR is red. So once it turns from yellow to red, we're looking for short setups. Only short setups. And then when it turns yellow to green, we're only looking for buy setups. So we have a trade set up called a WPT, and what happened this morning again, a big one this morning again. The beautiful thing about the WPT is let me take the second ATR off. You can just run one ATR if you want on the WPTs because the WPTs are catching the wrongly positioned traders. So let me just take the second ATR off, the smaller one, the 11, and just keep the 25 on there. And let me show you the best way to look for these WPTs. WPTs are deep retracements in the market. So we're looking for deep retracements in the market up, at, up to this ATR. Up to the ATR, up to the ATR, up to the ATR, down to the ATR, down to the ATR. Now, how, do, how, how, can we, how can we find it and what's the easiest way to look for it? Out of all the setups in the trading room, the WPT, after I got this ATR, running with our indicator that you can put on your own charts it's one of my favorite setups now because you have very low risk but very high reward so let me skinny this up a little bit let's take a look at the WPT trades so what a WPT is is a WPT trade is when you get this is when it first started is when you get an opposite color speed bar inside of a running ATR so if my ATR is running down I want to look for green speed bars the green speed bar is exactly the time they're catching the rolling position traders because that is a volume spike in the market right there these these speed bars are pretty much you're going to see volume spikes come in the market that's why they're speed bars so you see that they caught the rolling position traders right on our sim dots also almost to the tick on the sim dots you look for a reversal bar an opposite color delta or red delta after it turns green that's your entry your stop can be two things it can be two ticks above that swing high on that on that speed bar or it can be outside market delta by a close outside of market delta so that's the first WPT that got the market rolling. As we move down, where ATR is still red, these are the best WPTs to take. It happened at 9.47. I just talked about yesterday at 8.35 yesterday, 8.30. 
I said the best time of day trades are right around 940. Because 940, you get these big trend trades where the market likes to really take off and move. In fact, if you look at back at the S&P and you look back at these ATR trades, the top ATR trades typically happen right after the New York Open till 1030, that hour window. In other words, right around 935 to right around 1015 to 1020 is your sweet spot catching these big trades. So what we want to do during that time window, that hour time window, is really focus on these WPTs. So we're rolling down here. We're rolling down with a single ATR. This is our longer ATR. This is my 25 ATR. And then we get a WPT. A WPT is an opposite color speed bar that's catching the rolling position traders. That's why I nicknamed it WPT. And what we're going to do is look for an opposite color candle, which are negative market delta. There's our entry. Our stop loss can be two ticks above that swing high or it close outside the ATR, whichever you prefer. They're pretty much similar. So that's our second WPT. You see they're very similar. This one butts up against a longer one. So then she gets rolling again. Look at that reward to risk. This is short right there at just uh, under 95, and it got as low as, what, 75. 20 S&P point run on a very small stop. That's why I love these trades. Then the market comes back down. And we get another WPT. WPT right against the ATR. You look for an opposite color speed, I mean opposite color candle. There it is, right at the high, swing high, stop loss two ticks above the swing high, or close outside the ATR, whichever you prefer. So there's our next WPT. So you can see the WPTs in a row yesterday were pretty phenomenal. Uh, one, two, three. Here's your fourth WPT. And then we have the WPT that came down, got the first target, and then we close outside of the ATR. This is when we had a transition phase. Now, we all know this. We all know my time of day trades. I even typed this in the room yesterday. I said, we're getting late in the tooth. When this WTPT formed, I said, we're getting late in the tooth, meaning we're getting late in the trading day because our sweet spot is from around 9.35 to 10.20, right, or 9.30 to 10.30, make it easy on you. After 10.30, we get usually a counter trend trade move if the market's been in a downturn or uptrend, it typically goes the other way. So there's our WPTs. One, two, three, four for four WPTs catching the swing high to the candle. Each one caught the candle swing high. Pretty simple. Then let's catch the move back up. Check this out. Then what the market does, it closes above my ATR. You know, I love the longest uh, ATR I love is 25. I, I love using that one because it really gives me good trend direction. We start printing yellow dots over here, yellow dots into green, right there. That means we're looking for buy setups. Now, if you're looking for a green ATR, see red ATR, we're in a downtrend, look for sales only. You look for a green speed bar, right? That's the, That should catch the swing high, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar. Now, it got back into a green ATR, and what's it do? Now we look for a red speed bar. Now the red speed bar should catch the rolling position traders to the what? Right there, that caught them at the low. Man, it pushed right in my ATR. Look how beautiful this is. Right there it is. There is your green reversal bar. Even forward a little arrow for you, give you confirmation. But there's your red speed bar, caught the low. Red, red, red. There's a doji telling buyers are equal to sellers. And right there is your entry. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing low or a close below the ATR. Then it goes up, 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 and gives a W bottom. Next one, there it is. There is our opposite color speed bar against overall ATR. We, there's a doji, buyers equal to sellers. And here we go right there with a green reversal bar. So let's skinny this down. Then look at the market just explode. Look at explode with a small risk. The market explodes from the 80 level all the way to uh, 4706. This is exactly my high value market profile called the exact high within two ticks. High value area was sitting up there, my big red thick volume profile called the exact high if you were trading this yesterday within two ticks. And then she just crumbled. But if you look at it, the potential you had was the 80 level here, depending which level you got. So it's actually 78.5, 79, all the way up to that 04. You had 34 
potential points, SP points, 20 potential before. That's 54 points of S&P potential on WPTs from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 WPTs in a row that work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 11 o'clock. All right, so that's what's called WPT trading. It's called wrongly position, catching the wrongly position traders on a longer ATR. You you can trade this indicator off of any 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 uh, any currency, any futures, any individual stocks. It's universal. You can you don't have to run dual ATRs. You can just run one. I have an indicator that works on your own charts. You just go in there and it works on your own charts. You can adjust your ATR tight or loose depending on how you want to do it. I like the WPTs on a 25 ATR. You can even do 23 if you want. 25 is the best. I show 25 in the room, 25 and 11. But the key is not the ATR, guys, per se. The key is the synergy between the ATR and the speed bars because what's happening is this is the difference of our software versus other software. The difference is catching the rolling position traders because of the volume spike into resistance or support and the opposite color speed bar catches these rolling position traders. That's the beauty of the trade. Now if you look at it, uh, there's a strategy we can do off of this. There's a strategy that you're getting with the indicator. You can run off of this and that there's a strategy where you can let it run depending how you want to do it. This one it got long, and then it held it all the way up to here. Uh, you're going to have to find, find, uh, sign a disclaimer, knowing the risk of trading, because you can trade this live on the strategy. Um, you will have to sign a disclaimer, though, and you guys can zone in what you how you want to do that. Um, but this works manually too. You don't have to use a strategy, but the strategy is available if you want to. You can see it caught all these WPTs, so on. So I'll go over a conference call how to do that, but. Manually, it's just as effective as doing the other, uh, but uh, let's make sure that we understand WPTs are very low risk, high reward trades because you know you have a defined stop. You're trying to catch the lows and highs. So let's go into today's trading before this video is over. Let's see if it worked for, for today's trading. If I go into today, yep, caught the exact swing high. Check this out. How beautiful is this? I mean, it's, 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 it's what you know, not, you know, it's, Knowledge is power, guys, in the market. And it's, this is not my opinion why this works. It's not your opinion. It's order flow. This is strictly order flow. So uh, let's go to the S&P this morning at 4.30 this morning. We started moving down, moving down, moving down. And then look at this opposite color speed bar right into my ATR. There's my doji. Wrongly, I mean the, uh, or, uh, the uh, buyers equal the sellers. There's my opposite color a candle, which is negative market delta. You'll get the disclaimer when you get. Uh, we're going to send the disclaimer out. Gerald's going to. I'm going to help him. Uh, we're going to get that this weekend. Get this out and wrap this thing up. But you can uh, with the with the strategy. It's the same thing as the indicator. You can do the same thing, um, David. When you test it, so. See, it took, it took this short all the way this morning, all the way down to there at that level. But you can tell it's the same strategy. It's, you're, looking for, you're looking for that optical speed bar below the ATR. 